Welcome to the Coffee Clutch, a social gathering for good conversation over a cup of coffee. Grab your cup and let's get started. I want you young people out there, you young men and women, to listen up over the course of the next month because the month of May is going to be dedicated to motherhood. Of course, we celebrate Mother's Day during that month, and so I want to look at some quotes and sayings and idioms about motherhood. If you like what you hear, I hope you push the like button, I hope you share and subscribe. Now, motherhood has gone through some changes over the course of the years and the decades, but there was a time when motherhood stood as a very exalted position in our society. And then along came, I'm not really sure when it happened, probably late 50s, early 60s, the idea of motherhood became drudgery. All you're doing is laundry and cooking and cleaning and scrubbing and taking care of whiny kids and just was nothing but a ball and chain and that women were going to be liberated from this to become um, career women. Pick whatever career you might, you might like. Now, mind you, I have nothing against a career. I have my degree in physical therapy. I enjoyed working, so I have no qualms about that. But to me, being educated really wasn't just a means to an end, and that end being money. Being educated had an intrinsic value. And being educated was very valuable as as a mother. And I was a mother who chose to be, spend my days, as well as my nights, with my children. And it was a decision that is probably the best decision I've ever made. Again, I know that the overall idea of being at home is so boring. But it isn't. It is not boring. It, like everything else in life, has everything to do with what you bring to the table. How do you approach being a mother? What value do you think there is in your being at home and mothering your children? Well, I think there's a lot of value in it. And as I said in my first video, The Hand That Rocks the Cradle Rules the World, it was very clear to me that a mother has a very powerful impact on society and on culture because they're raising the next generation. Now there seem to be those who think we all must be open to the idea of other people raising our children. I don't know why that should be. I think you should raise your own children whenever possible. And I love the old sayings because a lot of them in the quotes refer to those formative years. Here was one. It's from an unknown author but I loved the way it was phrased. The formative period for building character for eternity is in the nursery. The mother is queen of that realm and sways a scepter more potent than that of the kings or priests. So being a mother not only comes with challenges, comes with expectations that you are going to be there for that child and you are going to be there to help form their moral character. Be that whatever it may. But that is what being a mother, those expectations are for being a mother, to be there for that child. And my mother was there for me, and I thank her for that. She was a mother of 10 children. I'm the seventh of 10. There were nine girls and one boy. We lived well below the poverty line. I didn't really understand that growing up because we lived in a very pleasant neighborhood and um, I was happy. I was happy growing up. But I look back and I recognize how sacrificial her love was and that's impressive and there is value well beyond any career she might have ever chosen. Another quote is from Rose Kennedy. I looked on child rearing not only as a work of love and duty, but as a profession that was fully as interesting and challenging as any honorable profession in the world, and one that demanded the best 
I could bring to it. Again, a very beautiful sentiment and affirmation of the true dignity of motherhood, its value. It's, it is immeasurable. From Irma Bombeck, she says, It is not until you become a mother, then your judgment slowly turns to compassion and understanding. I thought that was sweet too. We do, we do change when we become mothers. Our points of view change. And it's important to society and to culture for mothers to be there, to care for their children, to raise them. I have two daughters and a daughter-in-law that are currently raising, are starting their new families. I have six grandchildren. Each of these young ladies is well-educated. One has a degree in uh, bio biology sciences. One has a physics degree. And one is a pediatric nurse. They're wonderfully smart, talented young women. And I watch them use those beautiful uh, traits of theirs to raise their children. And it brings me a great deal of joy as I watch and I see a tiny reflection of what I have given to my daughters or at least I hope it's a tiny reflection of what I've given to my daughters. I see the three of them work very hard. They're patient. I see their their fears and their joys. I've watched them turn their houses into homes each with their own way of decorating that makes it feel homey and welcoming. I watch them care for their children. They are beautiful examples of well-educated, smart, and beautiful mothers. Motherhood is something that we should cherish, we should promote, and we should celebrate. And that's my intention for this month We'll go over next time some of the different idioms about mothers. A face only a mother can love. A mama's boy. A mother hen. Be tied to one's mother's apron strings. We'll go over some of those. Where do, where do they all come from and, and why all this reference to mother and motherhood? Well, I'll tell you that through the course of human existence, mother and motherhood has stood for strength. It has stood for new creation. It has stood for new beginnings. It has stood for comfort and love. And so to all of you mothers out there, I want to wish you a happy Mother's Day, and I hope you come back to finish the rest of our um, talks and discussions about motherhood. So until next time, enjoy that cup of coffee.